Hello YouTube, Anton Outdoors here, yeah, I'm Anton and this is the outdoors. I've just come out into the woods, uh, set up a quick camp, you can see the hammock uh, set up under a tarp, there's no rain forecast, I just want to keep the breeze off while I catch up on a little bit of reading, uh, possibly a bit of diary entry as well. Uh, nothing particularly unusual about the setup. Uh, whoopee slings on the hammock, tree huggers around the tree. Uh, one unusual thing I suppose might be, you can't see it from there at all, but using a constrictor hitch on the bottom. I know a lot of people like the um, taut line hitch, adjustable hitch, but I usually find, particularly when I'm just coming out uh, quickly, then a constrictor hitch is quick easy and very very secure like the name suggests it's just a variation on a clove hitch uh, which a lot of people use now most of you used to a clove hitch if it was tying a clove hitch I just come over the first bit kind of form a half hitch and then under that middle bit to give that sort of shape and push together looks like that a lot of people tie it by making the two loops you can see they're almost like a coil and the front loop just gets put behind the back one you can put it on the end of something got your clove hitch again. Clove hitch to a constrictor hitch is reasonably straightforward. All you do is pass the end under the central bit and then you've got two crossovers. A crossover in the middle and a crossover on top. Much more secure, much firmer than a clove hitch. A clove hitch will tend to slip I can show that. There's a clove hitch, and if you start pulling, you do get movement. If you want a very easy way to tie the constrictor hitch, all you do, I don't know if you can see that, just looped under one finger over thumb. If you rotate them all, pinch your finger and thumb, put them together, and then you've got constrictor hitch very quick very easy um, and as I say very very secure the only problem you're likely to have with it is uh, getting it undone at the end I tend to use it I don't know if you can see on steel pegs same diameter they'll just slide off the end clean the mud off here as you go um, or nice smooth wood stakes if I've had to make wood stakes Useful, uh, quick and just another trick in the bag, always handy. Okay, I'll try and show you that constrictor hitch the easy way, um, a little bit clearer. So you just double it back on itself and then you take the loops past each side. I don't know if you can see that. And then all you do is fold them together. To give you that constrictor hitch. The rope crossing the central bit and the two crossovers behind it nice and secure so once again pull it round go even further sorry for my big hands being in the way to there and then cross them like that and you can tie it 
one handed as I showed you in the video you need to get so it's like that around your thumb and finger take your finger past take your thumb past and then grip the two and what you end up with is a constrictor hitch so again I normally come at it with thumb and fingers crossed so you get that shape take them past thumb and finger together push the loops together constrictor hitch quick simple easy and secure